Hi, welcome to the Alyssa Goodman Show. And today I have another really, really special guest. She's actually a very dear friend of mine, Julie Hovzepian. I, I bet I didn't say that right. <laughs> I had to try, but even though you've been a good friend, I do know your name, but it's like it's hard to one. pronounce. Yeah, it's hard it's to pronounce. Um, so Julie actually was part of my branding team who really, really redid my whole website and really propelled and helped my book get off the ground. I mean, she's really, really special. So she was in the um, music industry for like over a decade and traveled around with huge artists. And basically she got this itch to go into the wellness arena. I think it was a pretty stressful job and we'll talk about that. But she went into the wellness arena. She put on retreats. She helped me, which was oh, a blessing in disguise. And then she got turned on to energy healing. And now she has become a trained energy healer. Um, and I am so excited for her because the minute I met her, I knew she, she had this in her. I mean, you just really did. You could tune into people's energy like that. So welcome. Thank you. Julie. I'm so excited to be here with you. <laughs> it feels so amazing to have you here on the couch with me. And especially when you helped me get off the ground with everything on, in my business. But tell me a little bit about, you know, the transition for the music business into the wellness arena. Yeah. So I had this incredible career in music for 13 years, actually. And it was uh, amazing because I got to work with incredible people besides these humongous artists that made really amazing music that everybody knows. Right. I worked with amazing teams and all my coworkers at Interscope Records. It was incredible. And after 13 years, it, the universe basically came down and was like, <laughs> okay, you did what you needed to do here and it's time to move on. And mm -hmm. it was an unexpected move. I wasn't expecting to leave the music industry at that time, but it was so strong and so clear what happened. And because you were at the height of your career. I was really, so. and it, I was working. That's a big leap. I was, but it was working 24 seven and nonstop. And I ha actually had no mindfulness practice at the time. So I was just in this state of going, going, going. Mm -hmm. And something happened where I got let go from that job and it kind of made no sense to anybody at all. Wow. And the greatest part of that was for some reason, there was something about when that happened that didn't scare me in any way. I was more excited, which made no sense. Mm -hmm. But I just kept saying to myself, this is my karmic reward in life and I don't know why. And it, and it was a big lesson in not fearing change, which right. is, you know, we all do that. We're all so tied to things and cling to what's our identity without this, right. whether it's a relationship or whether it's a job. And we're afraid of letting go, even though there's something inside of us that knows that there's something better for mm -hmm. us out there. Right. And that's a huge lesson. And it basically just came down to just really trusting myself and trusting that I was supported and I kind of went with it and I really went with it. I kind of like just put on the wings and started flying. And I mean, it's amazing with no practice prior and really digging None. into those instincts, yes. having that intuition. Right. So you just followed your intuition. And I did. And I didn't even know heart. that's what I was doing. Then. Yeah. And one of my dear friends ended up connecting me to someone in the wellness industry, Lisa Odenweller, right. actually, who right. founded Beaming. And um, I started working with her and helped her launch her stores and just I started kind of going into this wellness journey and co-founded a company called Birds of a Feather right. with Candice <laughs> and yep. we got to work Love with you that. and yeah. tons of great brands and right. did a lot of amazing retreats. So it just started happening and um, it was an amazing journey. Mm -hmm. And you had, and you a had huge, fun. I had so much fun, fun yeah, right? yeah, along the way. It was right. just, I was just learning and soaking it all in and really just going with what felt right. And if it felt right, then I would go with it. And there was a That's lot. That's a good lesson for most people. Yeah. You know. And, you know, it definitely wasn't easy. It's mm -hmm. when things like this happen, people get expect for the thing at the end to be in this shiny package yeah. with a big bow. And it's not like that at all. It's a it lot. It was a little of, messy. 
along it's the way. It's just a lot of work and it's, you know, financially you're starting over again. There's a lot of stuff that plays into it, but yeah. for some reason, if you have that faith and knowing that you um, deserve better and that yeah. you, you, you have to trust in what you can do and what you can offer people, then it just works out. Yeah. And yeah. it's amazing to kind of see that all happen. So you had a huge part <laughs> in actually part three of that. I know, I'm so excited that I, it was such a whim of a thing too, to introduce you to Alessandro. Um, and, you know, when that happened, when we did that introduction, some people really connected and others didn't connect, but right. you did and you took it, you took it to the next level. Yeah, so it's, the interesting thing is after I left Interscope, it kind of started opening up where all these people that I would meet in the healing world, all these healers kept coming into my life one after the other, and I wasn't seeking any of them out. And, right. Um, kept alluding to the fact that I had these healing abilities, and I, and then you were like, meet my healer, and I was like, I am good. I right. don't need to meet another healer. Right. And you, know, you felt so strongly about it intuitively that you created this lunch for us, mm -hmm. and then it just kind of all happened from there. And for the last few years, I've been digging really deep into the energy healing space and it feels so on path and I love to see how it positively affects all these people and yeah. so thank you. You're it's welcome. It's a huge, huge part of it. Anytime to help someone like yourself mm -hmm. and to, you know, to bring out the abilities that you already had. Right. You know, that journey, you were on that road already. I mean, you could see it. So what kind of things have has changed for you in your life you know what kind of life do you are you do you live right now compared to what you were doing before? I mean it's pretty different than my music days for sure <laughs> like night and day in a sense I mean I've I feel like I'm absolutely still the same person yeah but I'm just way more present I realized mm -hmm. one of the biggest lessons that I learned which was a hard one to acknowledge from all those days in the music industry was that yeah. I felt like I wasn't present mm -hmm. a lot of the time. Because you were so busy and in your head. Yeah, and you're just yeah. so worried about what's happening and everything else and everybody else that it's hard to be in the moment. Yeah. And realizing that once I left was a big thing and it's something that's actually really important for me every day now to when you're with somebody to really be with them and connect and listen and sometimes that little tiny bit makes a huge difference in their life as well as yours so it's so true it was a big big learning <laughs> but in terms of big differences uh, meditation's been a part of every single day it has to happen there's how no, much how many times do you do it a day once a day well that's not true um on average i would say at least once a day okay is there a certain uh, time of day you every morning okay and it in terms of length, it just, it doesn't matter. I right. kind of just sit and close my eyes and as long as I feel like I got what I needed, I'm good. Okay. I think people get so stressed out about how you're mm. supposed to meditate that totally. instead they neglect it and it's literally one of the most important things everybody can do. Right. And, and it, like you said earlier, it doesn't matter about the time as mm -hmm. long as you can sort of calm down your brain, yeah. calm down yourself, your, just your center, right. get yourself centered. And the thing is people are like, I don't have time, but it's, yeah. you know, you have 24 hours in a day and five minutes of your day can... That does sound like you can you do, can do it. <laughs> yeah. And what you get out of it is mind blowing yeah. with the clarity, with the, the way it calms your nervous system, the way it just create space for you to have ideas and be creative and yeah. be able to you know be on your path it all happens just by just having those few moments of breathing every day right and it's very powerful right right what about manifesting that's a big thing that everyone's talking about mm -hmm. do you manifest i do and how do you manifest um i have these really specific techniques that i learned through energy through the energy work, yeah. actually. It's okay. a very specifically doing these visualizations and using light energy to actually okay. really manifest. Uh, but I am a huge supporter of any kind, where, whether people are doing visual, like boards yes. to do it or just thinking Writing about things it. Writing things down. Right. And just being, yeah, journaling is a huge, huge thing that's really powerful also. So really, as long as people, 
I think the biggest thing is actually taking time to figure out what it is that you want. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't do that. So taking that time and being really clear on what it is that's going to make you happy and then going from there as opposed to being like, I want a lot of money. I want right. love. <laughs> right. You know, what are the things that are actually going to make you happy? Right. If you do have a lot of money, what does that mean in your mm -hmm. world? How mm -hmm. are you going to actually use that to make yourself happy, make the people around you happy? So it's about getting clear on all of that. So how do you teach people when you, you do privates, mm -hmm. right? You do also classes. Yes. And where, tell me where you teach again. So I'm teaching weekly classes at Guided Light Healing. So, okay. So Alessandro, my right. teacher, Gianetti, opened this school and it's really exciting. Mm -hmm. It's in North Hollywood mm -hmm. and it's literally all about courses and classes and it's all led by healers that he's trained and they're just about helping everybody get on their soul path and right. feeling good and empowered and so it, there's a bunch of different classes led by some amazing teachers that mm. I've grown with in the fa past few years. And so I'm teaching a few classes there a week okay. and a class at Soul Hum okay. once a week. That's and the Friday one? That's the Friday okay. evening class. Yeah. And yes, I and love it, them. It's been really fun for me to lead these. So they're group energy healings and yeah. each week I'll intuitively tune in to what people are needing and basically figure out the class that is, around that. That is fascinating because is. if you have a whole group of people, they don't they need different things? A lot so, of times there's, you'd be surprised at how often they people come are together the same thing. And they got, and yeah, just, right. It's just themes of big things that people need to just get help with. Right, and, right. and you'll just guide them through yes. how to do that. Yes. How, to get, how to help themselves or how to just get in, like really look inward. Right. Okay. So it's basically through tapping into the energy, yeah. I'm able to help guide them and help with whatever it is that we're doing that evening or day. And also guide, help them with visuals and guidance so that they can actually connect to it and start to do it themselves in whatever way that makes them feel good. Ugh. God, that's so amazing. I mean, I feel like I know for me, it's changed my life as we've mm -hmm. talked about many, many times. I mean, starting it 10 years ago and seeing an energy healer and mm -hmm. seeing about three in the last 10 years that I absolutely love. And it's life changing. It is. Absolutely. It's really powerful. It mean, I never thought I'd be doing what I'm doing. And like you sitting here, mm -hmm. you wouldn't, you never dreamed you'd be doing this. I never <laughs> dreamed I would be doing this. What and do you strangely, see? It, it feels totally right <laughs> right right i know <laughs> which is why it's important for people to actually you know just trust that little voice inside of yeah. you that might you know if you if you've been at a computer all day but that little voice is like dance 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 do it there's mm -hmm. something that's going to come out of that right. so it's just about really again with meditation as a tool getting so clear on what it is that you're you're body your mind is trying to tell you right. and connecting to that right and then it's kind of easy after that because then you feel so supported by doing what you're meant to be doing so do you feel like you have to have kind of do you have to have a religious kind of supportive feeling to feel supported i mean you said that Not a couple times all. it's so interesting is it just what's supporting you so it's anything to, to me it's source energy okay. and it's just connecting to literally the, the universe yes kind of the greater good the the, <laughs> the highest greatest good you can connect right. to and um and whether it's a religious faith whatever it is everybody's going to connect to something that's going to mm -hmm. make sense for them and it all comes down to the same thing so it doesn't right. really matter so it has nothing to do with religion. It's just more about, or it does, it's, it's, it could it's be. just about, yes, it could be. Yeah. It's how you connect to it. So it's just about spirituality and knowing that there's something bigger than you, bigger than right. all of us that's guiding us through this world. And, right. and that's all it is. And even if that means it's a tree or a star, what, you know, whatever that makes you feel like you have a connection mm -hmm. with something outside of yourself. It's just really important to be open to that. Yeah. And see what happens. What about like the what life is so crazy right now and the mm -hmm. energy is pretty it feels like it's moving very fast. It is. Are you are you feeling that same way? Yes. It's like things are changing so rapidly. Mm -hmm. 
Um, are you finding people a little off, more off balance or just needing a lot more guidance, a lot more handholding? It, it, yeah, it's been I mean, fascinating to the, kind of watch what's going on. There's a lot happening and it's especially politically, mm -hmm. but there's, mm -hmm. the reality is, is that there's always something happening, you yeah. know, okay. whether it's, so it's not anything new right now that we're seeing. It's heightened for sure okay. in terms of that specific part, yeah. but there's always something and whether it's so personal and it's something that's happening just in your family or just with your work or natural disasters or what, there's always yeah. something that people are going to get, you know, kind of pushed with. Right. And Again, that's why the mindfulness practices in whatever way that you find that works for you is so important because instead of letting everything affect you so intensely, right. you're able to kind of get clear and instead of being super reactive, yeah. you're able to actually think through and say, okay, how can I work with this situation yeah. and yeah. get through it and help others get through, which right. is right. also a bigger thing. I know, and people are like finding that if they, I feel like if they don't have this mindfulness or they aren't connected to a greater good, mm -hmm. that there are really, things are happening to them that they don't really love. Right. Right. So they're right. almost put, being pushed to that direction. Right. That they have to kind of look. Yeah, and it, a lot of it also comes down to self-love and, mm -hmm. right. right? Yeah. <laughs> huge. Which is a huge <laughs> part of all of it. It's literally the core thing that connects everything that happens in all of every aspect of your life, whether it's financial, whether it's yeah. mental, whether it's physical, or, it's all yeah. related. So if you're not taking that time and filling yourself, you know, you could be helping yourself as well as a hundred people as opposed right. to just trying to like breathe. It, so right. it's, it's really important to try and get to a place of self love and fill that figure yeah. out what it is that nourishes that for you right to just be happy right yeah. that's wow i mean i can't wait to take your class I really Thanks, can. I can't i'm wait. so excited but so i ask all my guests if they had to sum up their mission in one word mm. what would yours be Ooh, in one word um i mean the word golden no one's ever said that. Like they've said love, you know, self-love and meditation yeah. and mindfulness, but wow, why golden? Golden has just been something that's just been coming up for years for me, that word. And it's, it just, to me, feeling golden is like the end all. That's where you want to get. And mm -hmm. it's specifically for me, my, my website is in a golden state and it's specifically okay. about um, living in your light. And whatever that means yeah. for you, it's about, you know, living with integrity and authenticity mm -hmm. and love. And it's, if it starts from there, then like the, the rest the is, limit. could yeah. be good. Yeah, <laughs> like so, that's where the goodies are, right? When you tap into all of that. Yeah, so as an LA girl, feeling <laughs> golden has always been that's, a big thing for me and mm -hmm. in so many ways, right, but right. really, I, it's so appropriate. It, it really made sense recently as to why so yeah that that's a big word for me because when i meditate i do it's funny that it's a color <laughs> i know i know but gold is gold i yeah. mean you know it's but i when i meditate i do meditate like i vision a golden light yeah. coming down through me or up from the earth right and in the so work that i do with the energy healing it's very specifically connected to gold energy so yeah. okay it has a lot to do with that also okay Julie, thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Give me a hug. Aww. Aww.